Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Creator Club series. So we have Gillingham in our first game of this episode in the Carabao, not the Carabao Cup, the Papa John's Trophy. But before we get into that, drop a like if you go on to enjoy the episode and hit that big red button underneath the video. It massively helps me out. So, like I said, Gillingham in our first game and if we go quickly jump back into the league, we are top by nine points. Coventry there, um, kind, of, kind of falling behind. Sunderland up to fifth. Um, you know, they're doing good as well. Going back down to the bottom end of the table, though, Lincoln, Northampton, Newport, and Leighton Orient, who came up with us last season there in P24. So it's a good season for us. Definitely, definitely a good season for us. And yeah, we move forward with this game. So we have Ipswich and Wickham in this episode as well. Um, Ipswich being 11th and Wickham being 6th. So could be a good couple of solid games there in the league. Um, I probably will play them and sim the rest but we'll see what happens so let's jump into this Gillingham game so guys it is the 4th of january 2022 away game against Gillingham in the papa john's trophy we go with the rotation team which wilson is now in up front alongside mckenzie as semenyo and greenwood uh were brought in uh, along with beckham in the first team so yeah going with the rotation team again wilson like i said does start quick sim and it's a 4-1 victory that is a really good victory we shut them out we absolutely shut them out so we were dominated on we dominated on stats. Robinson, Stokes, Mc, and McKenzie getting a brace there for us ratings, and it looks like McKenzie there on a nine point nine is your man of the match. All right, guys, and Riders have come back with two million pound for Isaac Hunter again. I'm going to go ahead and accept that because we don't need him anymore, and it is a big farewell to Isaac Hunter once he leaves the club. Hey yo, um, your next opponent does not have enough players to the match this means they are forfeiting and you will win 3-0 um this is the ipswich game this has never happened to me in in career mode this that has never ever happened to me i what ipswich forfeited <laughs> that's never happened to me that has never ever happened yo in 3.4 million from jianzu um, yeah, that's that's an instant accept. Um, that moves us. That'll you know boost our budget up a bit. But can we talk about Ipswich, please? Why do they not have enough players? What happened? Why do they not have enough players? Yeah, three 0 Ipswich. Hey, yo. What the hell? I don't understand. I don't understand why. Why? Why did they forfeit? I'm so confused. Can I um can I team sheets and go uh championship? No, AFL League One. Ipswich. Unavailable player. So they've got two out in Oh, that's why. That's why. They've got three players out injured. That's why. Ipswich, bruv. <laughs> buy some players. <laughs> you need to buy some players, bruv, if you want to survive in this league. There, no wonder you're like, no wonder you forfeited, bruv. Hey. All right, easy three points. Um, Big segment, I know, but there's your answer. All right, guys, and last time out after the Ipswich forfeit, uh, we come up against Wigan Wanderers, 14th of January 2022, which means we will have um, another played game after this and one more sim, uh, given that they for like Ipswich forfeit. So moving into the Wigan game, it's an it's an away game in League One, um, and yeah, it's you know it, it's a it's a full strength side from them. The you know they're fully fit. We are fully fit as well. Uh, Semenyo and Greenwood get their official debuts in the series. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into this. Thompson coming forward for Wickham. He skipped past, um, I think that was Stokes in the midfield. McElhinney. That's a good save by Stockdale. I wasn't quite sure where that was going, if I'm being honest, ladies and gents. But we do kind of get away with that. That's headed away by Greenwood. That's picked up by Kane. That's not handball. Ref, fuck off with the handballs, man. I'm sick of you giving... I'm sick of it. I'm actually starting to get tired of referees giving stupid decisions, man. I'm starting to get sick of it. But he's missed the penalty anyway. Justice has served. But 
That was never, ever, you know. That was never, never a pen. He's not going anywhere unless you want him to, King. Beautiful. Good defending. He's absolutely stormed that. Charlie King on a mad run. There's no one in the middle. There's absolutely no one in the middle. He's still got this. It's Georgie Johnson. Into Kane. He's turned his man. It's Tyron Kane with the shot. It's a good save by Stockdale. They're Stockdale, not ours. Kane does pick up a yellow card for a, a little bit of a nasty challenge. Um, we we don't talk about that. All right, guys, a little over half an hour played, and Wickham have absolutely dominated the ball. Um, we haven't been able to get any significant chances. Like we're holding we're holding okay in the defence. They've had quite a few chances, if I'm being honest. Um, but we haven't actually been able to, you know, get any significant chances. Can we stick that through for Greenwood, please? Nice. A little bit of stutter there on the game player. Greenwood just can't get past his man. But that's that's literally been that's literally been the story of the game. Um we you know we've get, we've gotten forward and then you know the two the two boys up front just haven't been able to really do anything. And it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of been a disappointing performance so far. Second half has commenced, ladies and gentlemen. And honestly, <sighs> I'm, we're struggling. We're actually struggling. So, men, you'll turn your man. Greenwood. He's got a run on the defense. It's still Sam Greenwood. He's given that away. It's fallen to Beckham. Let's just get a chance. Let's just get a chance. It's Greenwood. Good bloody goal. Love that. Sam Greenwood getting on the score sheet, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely love that from the boy. And yeah, that's genuinely the first proper chance we've actually had. Um, you'll have noticed the chance in the first half that their stock deal saved um, from, I think it was Tyron Kane. And yeah, no, nah, fantastic turn here by Greenwood onto the right foot. Onto his weaker right foot, I should say. And slots that home for a goal on his official series debut, ladies and gentlemen. We are 1-0 up. Just after 75 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, and after the goal, there's been nothing. There's genuinely been nothing. There's been a lot of, like, misplaced passes. There's been a lot of, like, shrugging players off the ball. There's been a lot of stupid decisions by the referee because the referee's a dickhead. But... It is what it is, ladies and gents. Greenwood through here again. He's tried to chip the keeper. That's a good save. That was, believe it or not, our second chance of the game. Or third, if you count the Tyron Kane chance in the first half. But they should have had two men sent off by now. Um, you know, their slide tackling is genuinely disgusting. Beckham there with the skills to pay the bills. And, yeah, now, like I said, there's there's very little in the way of chances. Greenwood, get yourself in the middle. It's completely bypassed Greenwood, and it's gone... Well, it's been cleared by the defender, actually. But, absolutely nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely nothing. This game has been absolutely diabolical. It's not the typical performance that you'd expect from us, um, especially, you know, since we are trying to title challenge, so to speak. That was the... Why well, I don't know what that was from... I don't, who was, whoever was coming into the box there that, like, proper Jackie chan himself. Um, you know, GG's. <laughs> but, yeah, no, King gets his shot off. It's Charlie King, unlucky. Again, that's the kind of chances that we've been restricted to all match. It's practically, you know, this is the this is a very long, un, unedited segment because there's nothing else really for me to add, like, for me to say, for me to add into the video. Like... Content-wise, this match has been absolutely diabolical, and, you know, it, the, there hasn't exactly been a lot of chances. The chances that you have saw is just me commentating over it, and it's a, it's a, it's a really slow and really poor 1-0 win from us. You know, it, don't get me wrong, it's three points, but it was a very, very lackluster performance from the boys, and your man of the match was Greenwood with a 9.1. Um, yeah, just... Very, very poor, poor performance from the boys, from both teams, actually. Um, you know, I thought we would have scored more, but it's a very lackluster 1-0. All right, guys, and we've received a transfer offer here from Shakhtar Donetsk. 6.5 6 million there for Eric Wilson. I'm actually going to delegate this because we could get between 6.7 and 13.3. Um, so I am going to actually delegate this and go 13.3 to 6.7. Um, because, you know, I wouldn't mind actually 
investing. I mean, we have a backup striker. I'm pretty sure we've got someone out on loan. If I just go into the squad hub quickly and go strikers, we've got DeAndre Morgan here, um, who's out on loan at Impact Montreal, and he could go in ahead of Wilson in the second team if push comes to shove. So interesting times we could actually like i said we could cash in on on wilson here and get some get some big 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 money there um for him and then obviously bring deandre morgan in um one thing i would like to check is my loan signing like my loan players so logan jordan here is on is 84 rated he's on a plus seven he's on loan at galatasaray right now um he was the future star that we got for for the pre-order of the game um homegrown talent or whatever it was called so he's up to 84 now in just two seasons that is absolutely incredible uh the right back is plus 19 um roman olinick i want to say i want to i, I want to say that's how you pronounce his name um he like i say yeah he's on he's 68 rated now he's on a plus 19 um ibanez has just gone out on loan um there in january so he he won't have grown that much uh like i said deandre morgan there plus nine he's up to 63 rated now um as well kevin james there is a plus seven he's out on loan at swansea city right now and douglas glass there is a plus six and he's on loan at Leighton orient so he's he's believe it or not bottom of the table right now um f but yeah no that logan logan jordan though 84 rated um plus yeah i want to have a look at his stats actually um if we have a look at development and have a look um i'll put in our own screen right now so he's got wow holy shit he's got some incredible stats man 98 pace there 94 stamina 85 and 90 uh, 85 strength 90 aggression 80 attack positioning 78 vision um what's his dribbling and everything finishing 74 so he's not the best at finishing but he has very very good ball control and dribbling there crossing 88 um free kick accuracy 90 he is a really, really good player, actually. Um, he's five star, five star high low as well. So that is incredible, incredible money. How much is he worth? Ha ha, ha money. <laughs> oh my god, what? What is this? Is this money? Is this what this is? <laughs> oh my word, sixty-two point five million there. We can get for Jordan if we, if yo, 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 bear cash. Bear cash, yo, someone, someone like a C. Um, if if someone like a city wants to come in after he comes back from loan and wants to, you know, buy him, <laughs> that would set us up financially for the rest of the series, if you know what I'm saying. But raw 84 rated there, 62.5 million. Incredible, absolutely, absolutely incredible. All right, guys, so the 19th of January, 2022, it's a weird game in Sky Bet League 1 against Bristol Rovers, who are at the bottom end of the table. Jack Baldwin there at centre-back, former Sunderland player. Uh, we, like I said, is going to be a quick sim before one last played game, and it is a 3-1 victory. It is Wilson with a goal, Scott and Kane getting on the score sheet as well. Uh, and your man of the match was, looking through the ratings, 8.2 there for Kane, 8.2 there for Beckham. So, given that Kane actually did get on the score sheet, I'm going to give it to him. So, your man of the match was number 8, Tyron Kane. Final game of the episode, ladies and gentlemen, and it is the 22nd of January, 2022, Skybet League 1, home game against Charlton Athletic. They have an extremely depleted side there. Uh, the two centre-backs, the CDM, and especially the front three and the left-back, all tired. Um, we should be able to actually exploit that. And yeah, pick up quite a few goals here. Hopefully, better. Hopefully, a better performance than the one that we put in um, earlier in this episode. And yeah, let's see how this goes down. Mackenzie. He's going to use the space to get the shot off. It's come off Oshijala. It did come off Oshijala, but fair enough. All right, Harry Chambers. Uh, we don't have a right footer, do we? Nah, it doesn't look like we've got a right footer. I, I'm going to have to... Um, shit, I don't know what to do here. Do I just put some power on this, maybe? and Like that. There we go. There, there we go. There we go. That's, that's how you take a free kick, apparently. <laughs> I, I'm like, I don't know what to do. And then, boom. I have some of that into the top bins from Armstrong. Keeper was nowhere near it. Ben Amos there. 
And yeah, good free, good, good, good little free kick there from from Armstrong. Um, not much else to be said, to be fair. So we're just gonna, <clears throat> we're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with that. Just 35 minutes played, lads, and it's another, it's another lackluster performance from the boys. It's, it's the usual energy levels is just not there. Like passes are very, very bloody weak, and I can't really do much else. Like the midfield is non-existent. Midfield's getting bypassed rather, rather easily, and we we're supposed to have um, two centre mids and you know two wingers covering the centre pass lanes or the or the wing pass lanes, I should say. That that's our ball. Like yeah, just just FIFA doing that thing. Content wise, this hasn't been a fantastic. This has not exactly been a fantastic episode. You know that was that was definitely last episode um, for content, but we make we try and make the most of it if we can. Um, to be perfectly fair, like, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying my best, guys. I'm, I am absolutely trying my best. And then you've just got the, you've just got Wilson who can't, who, you know, who's got the turning circle of a bloody bus, and <laughs> the defender just steals the ball from him. Like, yeah, thanks, dude. Like, that's that's much appreciated. All right, couple of substitutes at half time. Robinson down the left wing has gone off. Beckham's come on, and Wilson up top has come off, and Antoine Semenyo has come on in his place. Just to try and freshen things up a bit, to try and get the team up the pitch, and you know, try and create st something because I, I've kind of, I've kind of had enough of um, you know, not scoring goals, and then, <laughs> and then the two substitutes just link up and do that <laughs> banter, <laughs> April Fools. But no, this, despite recording this on April the first, um, you know, this is not a joke. Like this has been still this this has still been a very lackluster performance, but David Beckham there getting on the score sheet, the icon coming out of retirement himself to assist the club. Uh, like I said, getting on the score sheet to make it 2-0. 85 minutes played, ladies. Well, 84. Um and honestly, my defenders can't pass the fucking ball. That's a pen. For fuck's sake, FIFA's doing dude. Right, listen, 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 listen. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's FIFA doing the stupid thing again where it they're not doing exactly as they're told. Fuck you, Gim. And then the referee gives yet another stupid fucking decision, bro. I'm so glad I'm so glad I'm 2-1 up. I am actually so glad I'm 2-1 up because I can't deal with FIFA today. Like the What the fuck are you doing? Bro, pass it inside. Don't give it to someone who's fucking marked. Oh my god. Again, lads, FIFA is doing this stupid thing where it's not doing as it's told. It's really starting to annoy me. Content-wise, this episode has been absolutely diabolical. I'm just saying. This episode has been absolutely diabolical for content because the game, for some strange reason is doing is making stupid decisions based on rng and it shouldn't it should just follow the commands given to it by me and that is how it should be played but no random predictability is for some strange reason in fifa and it's so stupid it is absolutely so stupid that mechanic should never be in a sports game anyway blow your referee thank you for crying out loud I'm so glad that's over with. It's three points, don't get me wrong, but I'm just tired of FIFA not doing as it's told, acting on the input I tell it to do. But no, it relies on RNG to make decisions. Stop relying on RNG. I can't make episodes, I can't, I can't make content if you keep doing the most stupidest of things when I'm not telling you to do the most stupidest of things. Either way, it's a 2-1 victory. And judging from ratings, Armstrong man of the match there, 8.5, Chambers 8.4, McKenzie 8.3, everyone else on an average rating. But my god, this episode has been the most frustrating thing to record for quite some time. I am so sorry if that has come across or if it's, you know, dampened the quality of the video. Like, I sincerely apologize, but seriously, my head is done in. And all I've done is record for 35 minutes. Like, what the hell has this episode been? 
All right, guys, and after this roller coaster ride of an episode, um, we continue to remain top. We've actually extended our gold, our, our point difference to 12 from 9. So it looks like Coventry did drop some points in that episode. Sullen's still in fifth, and we play um, Sw Swinden Town. Reference uh, in the comment section down below, please. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we play Swinden in the next episode, um, who are 20th in the table. So that should be an easy victory. I might just end up simming that one. Um, but yeah, now we had a very, very roller coaster, emotional roller coaster ride of an episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first, starting with Ipswich forfeiting and then going into played games and the referee making really stupid decisions um, based on, you know, 50 50 tackles, for argument's sake. Um, you know, there is a lot still to fix with FIFA and it will never be a perfect game. So we've just, we as players have just got sort of got a just you know taken on the chin but it's annoying to make it this is one of the most annoying games to make content out of uh because you know i i want to present the best gameplay for you guys and th when the game doesn't cooperate it you know it becomes very very frustrating so again i sincerely apologize if you know that has come across and has you know sort of diminished the quality of the video so, so yeah again apologies on that front but there's not a lot else I can do when, you know, the game decides it wants to do something completely different to what I'm telling it to do. So, yeah, like I said, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. If you have managed to watch this all the way through at the end, then props to you guys. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, this episode, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release your content or go live. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.